Okay, welcome back to this part of Let's Play Fire Emblem. As I promised, I'm going to be turning off the animations for uh, at least until I'm done dealing with these bandits. Reason being, there's simply... There is simply... There are simply too many bandits and it gets really boring to watch the throwing axe animations all the time. As you can see, this is how it's gonna be. I'm just gonna do it for this part. I'm probably not gonna be doing it much... I'm, I'm not gonna be doing that a lot. I like fighting with animations on. But for now, I'm just gonna do that. Oh, level up! Sweet! The reason why I don't like fighting with with um with um without animations is because because I yeah because I don't blah, 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 learn to speak English. The reason why I like fighting with animations is because I feel like I'm blind if I don't. I really like to watch the combat numbers and shit like that. If I don't, I feel like I'm I'm not paying attention to the battle. Okay. So this is gonna be nice. I'm uh, just gonna be fighting these guys, and let's see if we can't lure the Mamcat into attacking Lou. We can use our last thunder spell on the guy. I forgot to check how much damage he does, though. That is actually pretty terrible. Uh, I need to be really careful. Uh, I'm gonna use a barrier on Lou. Uh, I don't think they're doing magical damage, though. But just in case, <laughs> I won't take any chances. Uh, okay, so let's heal up uh, Echenda. There we go. And let's keep building supports between the two of them. Um, let's move Roy over here. Yup! There we go. And let's place Roy here. Holy fuck! Why are there so many bandits? Oh, shit! <laughs> I've never seen that before, actually. Look at that. That's cute. It's a little dragon. So cute and adorable. Oh, shit. Okay. How many uses does Astol have of that uh, iron sword, anyway? <laughs> Resistance. That's cool. <laughs> oh, come on. Attack fear. You know you want to. Oh yeah. Show them, girl, what happens when you mess with the female version of Rutger. The more awesome version of Rutger. So, uh, I don't really remember the boss of this chapter, but uh, I need to constantly be checking my turns so I don't accidentally forget. Okay, so turn 16, I have 9 turns. Should be good. Um, I need to get Cat the hell out of the hell away from there. I don't know. Lou really wants his Thunder Tome. Now I need to check the range on this Mamcats. Uh, he can't attack here, I believe. So if I place Astol here, then he is outside of its reach. Yes. So yeah, he can go, he can he can move two steps in the desert, so. Let's equip the air caliber and let's mend him up. Uh, it's not enough. Yeah, it is. Thank God. That would have been pretty nasty if it wasn't. So, um, I'm gonna place Etchy here in this forest, and she's gonna be using the Steel Sword against the guy. There we go. That should be enough for Gonzi to finish him off. I'm not sure how many enemies are left here, actually. Oh, he has one hit point left. Hmm, that's convenient. Uh, I guess we'll dance for him then. Joop. Here we go. Soul Reaver, kill him! Thank you. Let's place Roy. Yeah, I'm gonna be a little bit careful. As you can see, there's grass here, so we don't suffer the normal movement penalty when we walk on here. Okay. I think we're actually starting to finish up all the bandits in this area. There are more of them coming though, so we need to send Fear and Shin up to deal with them. Oh, look, he's a dragon! Oh, he's so adorable! Rawr! I am scary! Oh, he's scary! Do, did they even have a chance to hit Astol? I didn't quite, uh, quite catch it. I think it was like a 7% chance or something, so I'm not worried at all. I'm gonna check next time. Good thing is, he gets actually gets 1 XP for dodging, which is pretty cute. Go. 
And I'm gonna try to lure these bandits down to Fear and Shin, actually. There we go. Crit him. And I'm gonna be moving them up to face him now. Uh, I need to kill this guy off. Uh, I kinda wanna do it with the Thunder Thorn, though. I'm quite done with wasting my uh, spells. There we go. I'm kept down. And I think we're gonna start to move upwards at this point. Just leave Astol to deal with these bandits right here. There we go. I think the boss of this chapter is that hero guy. I can't really remember if there's any more dudes over here. We'll see. Gonsi is soon about to become an awesome berserker. That's gonna become awesome. Stance. And I know for a fact that there's a guiding ring over here that only Cecilia can get, so I'm going to be really careful. Anything can. Holy shit! Seriously? How many bandits do are there in this world? I mean, it's like a whole army of brigands. <sighs> anyway, it's good level ups for Astol. That's nice. It's always nice to have a thief at level 20, just in case. I know there's some really, really annoying bolting dudes later on in this uh, later on in this game. There we go. I think Lou is gonna help out a little bit with these guys. Just because it's gonna take so long for Astol to kill every one of them, I don't think I will be able to do that at all go and still gonna keep Elm around just for the support and Melody here just in case something happens and I actually think I should uh, should I I don't think there's any more enemies here so maybe I can send Gonsi and Eshi up here just to get some easy kills shall I do that sure I'll do that check over here I don't think there's any more enemies around just checking to be sure Yep, there's the boss, and the Sophia is gonna pick up the Guiding Ring. Oh wait, it wasn't there? Oh, I'm so nervous at this point that something's just gonna come out of the fog and kill Achinda. No, not Achinda, but Sophia. Uh, shit, uh, I don't think there's anything over here, but I'm just gonna keep him there just in case. There we go, uh, I don't think there's... There's one more item in this desert. I know there is. Oh, I'm so afraid something's gonna come out and kill Sophia. I just know that something's gonna come out and kill Sophia. Oh, it's like a fiber knight hiding up in the forest or something. He's just gonna come there and, gonna, and kill her and I have to do this entire chapter over again. That would suck so much. Please, 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 let that not be the case. Please be, don't be mean to me, game. So many brigands. I can't get over how many fucking brigands there are in this game. Or in this 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 map. I can't even remember there being so many of them. <laughs> they suck though. Oh shit, Astol's sword is about to break. He needs another sword. Okay. Lou to the rescue. The loose thunder tone will break at this point. <laughs> Another godlike level up for our beloved Lou. And uh, Ellen doesn't need to be close at this point, she just needs to be within within range. And I think I'm gonna actually... I'm gonna let Gonsi try to get most of these kills. Well, at the same time, I need to be building supports with them, because that support is just so god-awfully slow. Nice, a level up with axes. No, with swords, okay. Run, Kath, run! Run, Fear, run! Run, Shin, run! How many turns are we on? 19 turns, so I have 6 more turns to go. I need to make sure I kill this boss, though. That is actually kinda important, I suppose. I think we need Lou for that, to be quite honest. Um, I need to find this guiding ring, though. I know it's there some. Ah, here it is. Something is glittering in the sand. Oh, a beautiful ring! That is actually pretty nice, because that means I can give the Guiding Ring to Ellen. There we 
There we go. Just making sure there's no nasty bandits in range. There we go. The barrier staff is not really needed anymore. So, as you can see, I've, al I I've already given Ellen a lightning tome just because I know she's going to be able to use it. Now, the question is, what should I use to kill this guy? I haven't really checked his stats. Uh, he has a light brand that really, really sucks. But his resistance is pretty terrible, so I think we should kill him with uh, Ellen, maybe? I don't really know. But there is a shop over here, and Cat actually has the silver card, so I'm actually going to be bringing Cat over here. And I'm really unsure what to do with Cecile. I can go check out this shop. Do they sell anything cool? Mm, steel weapons. Not really the coolest shop in the world. How about this uh, one? Ah, they sell our, sell our caliber, as well as Nosferatu. Oh, there's a lot of juices snacks in here. Okay, I definitely want to be buying some of these items, but I'm going to wait for my beloved silver card. And let's visit these houses. Have you heard of the sky god Delphi? He's an ancient god said to race. Said to race through the vast sky and protect all living things. They say that with his blessing, Vyvanse and Pegasi can fly freely without danger. Yeah, he's of course referring to the Delphi shield, which is an item you can give to Pegasus of Rival Knights that makes them basically uh, take normal damage from arrows and other shit like air caliber. And that's pretty decent. But uh, it's not like godlike. Actually, it is pretty godlike to have a have like a flying unit without the weaknesses. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Okay, so I have five more turns yet to go. I was actually planning on getting an iron sword for Moy. You can give the silver blade to Roy, actually. As long as Sophia fucks the hell off. And I'm actually going to be doing something along the lines of this. I'm just going to be finishing these guys off. Uh, and I'm going to be using the guiding ring, which will transform Ellen into a bishop. That will allow her to use lightning ranged uh, bishop spell. <laughs> oh. Now that is one good promotion. Always so satisfying whenever Eunice promotes. Look at that resistance, seriously. Nothing is touching her. And I'm gonna dance a little bit for Astol. Ooh, level up. My dancer is actually fairly high level now. Speed of 20 and luck of 18. Let's keep leveling up Astol. This is a lot of good XP for him. And I think that, uh, however, I can't get too cocky. I, at some point, I need to focus on the boss. Uh, see, poison axes mostly. Not really any huge issue. I'm so glad I turned the animations off. This would have been a pain to watch without animations. Let's fly over here. And I actually think that most of the bandits went down for Shin and Fear, so... Let's see. No, there's no more here. Oh, let's visit this house. There are a lot of things buried in the sand. If you're really lucky, you might find something. Try looking around the bones. Well, that's a useful advice. However, you're at the end of the map. So... If I were to find that advice useful, then you could have lived somewhere closer to my starting position. Just saying. Oh yeah, there's some more bandits over here. I think it's time to just finish these guys off with Lou. I need to check uh, Ellen's avoidance. if she can actually deal with these bandits on her own. Would be awesome if she could. Ooh, level up. Oh man, are you kidding me? Seriously? Hit points? You can't be serious. That is just terrible. Okay. We're at turn 21, so actually at this point I'm starting to get a little bit worried about the boss, so... go. I'm gonna be bringing Lou and Ellen over to kill this guy now, and I'm gonna be leaving Astol. Do they have A support yet? No, they have B support, actually. So, let's see. Yeah, this guy needs to die. There we go. 
she's a little bit vulnerable, I suppose. Now, at this point, I might turn animations on again. Because I'm actually... Yeah, I'm going to be taking on the boss, so I'm going to be turning the animations on again. There we go. My sword is impenetrable. Now choose your death by the blade or by its light. That's cool, you got a light brand, I understand. It's really not that special, I got one too, you know. And it's actually full of weaknesses, so saying it's impenetrable is actually really stupid of you, because it kind of sucks at range, so... You know, just breaking it to you. <laughs> and just because I'm paranoid, I'm going to be rescuing Sophia. Let's we'll see if we can't shop for some items before this map is over. And we can also kill this guy off with a longbow. That's nice. The longbow has its uses, especially when in, in the hands of a powerful nomad trooper. So I'm really happy about this chapter overall. I think that I trained a lot of really weak units here. And they're gonna be infinitely more awesome in the next chapters. Uh, my, I really hope I can get Gonzi to become a Berserker before the end of this chapter though. That will be so useful. Randy! I wonder what his name was in the original version. Oh! oh! <laughs> Thank you, Alan. That was nice of you. I am glad that I could meet someone so strong as you before my death. So he goes out with a poor bang. And it gives an entire level up to Alan as well. That's pretty neat. <gasps> awesome! She still has a defense of two, though. That is so bad. And I'm going to be conquering the throne, but I really want to get Gonzalez up to level 20 first. Because that's going to be of such help in the Gaiden chapter. You'll see why. Nice one. Astal levels up. Pretty terrible level up, though, but still. Yeah, they don't really have a good chance of hitting him at all. 10% chance. That's never going to happen. Well, it might happen once, but it's certainly not going to happen two times in a row. And I might turn off the animation again until this chapter is finished. <laughs> this is just... Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Oh, Gonzalez almost killed the dude. And he's gonna become level 20! Oh my god, he leveled speed and luck again. Oh, this is gonna be so awesome. This is gonna be so awesome. Oh, I can't wait. That, sh that uh, armory didn't sell any axes, did it? I mean, not any um, hand axes, because I really need hand axes. I'm completely out of hand axes. It's actually a little bit annoying at this point. Miss, 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 miss. No problem. No problem at all. Oh, I'm so happy that Gons is finally going to become a berserker. Oh, it's going to be so awesome. He's gonna, oh, it's gonna be so cool. If you've never seen a Berserker before, then behold. I'm just gonna kill this guy off with Etchy first, just because I want to. Pew! Etchy. Come on. Okay, are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Are you ready for the most awesome Berserker in Fire Emblem history? I'm gonna show you. La la that was a terrible song from my oh, oh, oh five skill five skill he got five skill five skill look at him seriously Ross from Fire Emblem 8 you ain't got crap on this guy seriously this guy best berserker in Fire Emblem ever I don't care if there's any other Berserker out there with better stats. Uh, and a resistance of 1. That's what I love about him. I think actually he capped out hit points. I don't think you can have more than 60 hit points on Fire Emblem. I'm not quite sure though. I think I may be mistaken. So, just because I love the animations of Gonzalez, I'm not going to be turning off animations. I think just because I want to see him attack. I love the Berserkers uh, animation. They're just so incredibly cool. And a fun fact about Berserkers and Swordmasters in this game. While they get like 15% in Fire Emblem 7 and 8, they get a 30% crit bonus in Fire Emblem 6. That's why Swordmasters are just so godlike. If you notice, Fear has like a 50% critical strike chance when she's paired with Shin. And that's just because Swordmasters by default get 30% crits. And uh, if you imagine giving her a killing edge, yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. She's gonna get like 70% critical strike chance. 
against these guys. So I'm just gonna be conveniently placing Troy on uh, Troy, <laughs> Troy on the crone, <laughs> Roy on the throne. And I think at this point I am just gonna be healing up Ellen. And I'm gonna be finishing off the last of the Brigands before I complete this chapter. I think there is one item I haven't gotten. But I don't think... I think it's a Warp Staff, actually. Um, I think it's somewhere around here. Maybe here. I don't know. I have to finish up this turn. I think it's a Warp Staff, and that's actually a shame, because I know that the Warp Staff is actually a very good item. But I don't know where it is, so, you know, what can I do? Let's just finish off these guys. There we go, and let's visit the vendor with Kath, and as you notice, these things are cheap as fucking hell. Why? Because I have a silver card. Now, uh, I think I'm gonna buy an air caliber, as well as an L fire, and a lightning. Uh, Nosferatu is really good, but I don't think I'm gonna buy it, because I don't know if I'm gonna be using a Dark Mage user. A main staff is a must, so is a restore staff. No, don't know if there's any more Fog of War maps, I don't think that is useful at all. But I'm gonna buy a Pure Water, because that's something that's very nice to have. There we go! Uh, I can probably dance a little bit for Ellen. Can they even hear? No, they have no chance. They do a lot of damage to her if they hit her, though, so it's a little bit nasty, but... This is a really good way for her to level up her, um, her, um, light magic skill. There, I think we're done. Oh, Milady standard turn. There we go! Yeah, they're gonna go for Astol. I think they do more dam- no, actually, they do a lot more damage to Ellen, so... Uh, it's a bit weird, probably because Astol is the only target within their reach. That may be it's oh look at this. Just look at this. Oh <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, that was really unlucky. But it just wait until you see the Gonzalez critical animation. I mean seriously, that is just godlike. I'm i I'm gonna use the killer axe just just because I wanna see his critical an hit animation. And speeding up the hand axes. Okay, are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Allow me to show you the greatest critical hit animation. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome! It's so awesome! Oh, okay, now that we've seen it, we can turn it off and just... I'm just gonna rapidly finish up this chapter now. I'm gonna kill off the last of the Brigands and I'm gonna capture the throne. What turn is it? It is turn 23, so just be sure I'm gonna be ending it on twen turn 24. Nastol can finish up this guy, no problem. Get another easy level up. There we go, speed and defense. He has 10 defense, that is not too shabby for a thief. That's not shabby at all. There we go, how's her light mastery coming along? Uh, pretty horrible. It's gonna take a lot of time to get her up to S rank, holy shit. Okay. Should I just end it now? Yeah, I'm just gonna end it now. There's hardly any more bandits to kill. Yeah, I'm just gonna end it now. There's no point in overstaying it. I'm just gonna check here one last time. Um, there's... Why is the sound fucking up so badly? Nope, there's nothing else to do here now. Um, yeah, let's just finish it up. There is this one item that I'm really... That I really, really want, but... Um, I think maybe it's here or something, or here. I don't really know. Huh. Maybe it's here? Uh, it's worth trying, isn't it? Okay, I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna try it out. I'm gonna see if I can't get it. Okay. It's turn 24. It's... I have to complete it. Is it on turn 25 that I that the sandstorm ends, or is it on turn 26? I don't really know. <laughs> but I'm gonna be trying out... Oh, 
I don't really know what to do. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Shall I try one turn? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, one more turn. Oh my god. Please let it be t turn 26. Yes, it's one more turn. Okay. I was pretty sure it was 26. Uh, basically what happens uh, during the next turn, the sandstorm will disappear. And uh, that will cause the Gaiden chapter to become unavailable. I'm gonna do one last attempt at trying to find the warp staff. It could be around here. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was a gamble on my part. I knew it was somewhere around this place, but that I actually found it, pretty amazing. The warp staff is just amazing. It gives you so much utility. It basically allows you to uh, teleport an adjacent uni unit away. Uh, I think based on your magic, you can teleport it away. So that is pretty fucking amazing. Now I can conquer this drone. Just gonna check for supports. Nope, no supports and no supports between the two of you either. Nope, that's fine. Conquer the drone. He was a tough opponent, but we won. Sophia, where are the inhabitants of this village? W what's wrong? The entrance to the temple. This door? It looks like it has been forced open. What lies inside this temple? There is something we call the divine weapon. It is a spell book. Divine weapon? There was one here too? Then that must be what Burn was after. In that case, we may be too late. It is there. I can feel it. Alright, let's go. We may still be able to stop Burn. Alright, so that means we unlock the Gaiden chapter, and that's what we are going to be doing when we are coming back to this Let's Play of Fire Emblem. Okay, that was just a terrible sentence from my part. My name is Winmangs, I'll see you next time!